Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now, in the last episode, I had revamped the industrial district here on the island of Manola, defended Benti's final island from Arthur, keeping her in the game, completed the hydro power plant, giving us unlimited power here, started producing scooters for the first time, and began the construction of the football stadium. So today, we're going to be opening up that stadium for the first time, and starting work on the island of Manola to kind of make it a bit more self-sufficient as it's actually relying on a lot of other islands when we could be producing stuff locally and we've got lots of workforce to be able to do so. Speaking of workforce, actually, we're a little low. So I'm just going to really quickly downgrade a couple of these obreros just for the moment. All right, good. Speaking of obreros, there's currently a thousand assigned to the soccer stadium, which I've now moved further into the town. About 20 minutes have gone by uh, since recording previously, so there was about 20 minutes-ish counting down. The grand stadium superstructure is now ready to go. So we'll just get upgrading it almost immediately, but just wanted to touch on the fact that I've got my fleet stationed just outside of Benti's island of Flora Fjord, and we have them all upgraded now, all with pirate flags and all of that stuff, so they're ready to swoop in should an attack happen. So we'll be always trying to keep an eye on that and keeping her in the game for as long as we can. All right, without any further delay, let's begin. Let's upgrade this bad boy and see what's what. So the only thing I know about this is that people said that you, you get some influence by running soccer games. That's all I know. So I'm going to be basing a lot of what I'm going to do off of after clicking this button and finding out what we need for it. All right, there we go. Your stadium is ready to host football games. Select your brand new monument to launch your first event. It looks good. Oh, hey, we got Hans von Schlong's flags flying proud in there. I wonder, is it Team Schlong? <laughs> yeah, I wonder actually who are the teams. Maybe it's like New World versus Old World or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Let's take a quick read. So, to host the championship, select one of three available tiers and provide the stadium with the required goods. Once preparations are complete, you'll be prompted to choose a reward. So, it looks and sounds very much like the World's Fair. Football Championship. Potential Can't rewards influence. So preparation. Nibbles and canopies, a modest drink selection, a few displays of fruit and access to electricity. Investors' con contributions are low. Investors? Surely that's artistas, no doubt, right? Because it says artista contributions. Someone's getting done for copy and paste. Hey, what's going on? Reduced requirements. 24% of the goods will be deducted from the preparation demands. Oh, interesting. 20 minutes to go. Let's try to do regional. I'm only f I'm only like 50 population away from that. Let's try. And that's interesting, actually. It says 10,000. So that's going to be the target then. Because a, a few people have been saying, like, what are you going to build to? How, you, how are you going to fill up the whole island and stuff? And I, I don't plan on filling up the whole island. If we just really quickly take a look over at Crown Farms, or uh, aka Crown Falls, it's a lot of empty space, <laughs> you know? I didn't make use of any of this. Um... And I know a lot of people like to, but that's just, that ain't my style. I like to build pretty. So I just kind of built over here and I was like, yeah, that's good enough for me. And then I built a factory here and then the stuff in between is like, oh, I'll get to that. And I never did. So, you know, maybe I will one day. <laughs> uh, so the idea for this place then 10,000, if we can max out 10,000, just on this kind of outcropping of an island here and then just fill in the rest of the population to sustain them, then that's all I need. All right, let's uh, get this started then. So what we need to do is upgrade a couple of obreros, get to that. 7500 number, which should be done even just by doing that. Yeah, we're good to go. Preparation 50 grand. Easy peasy. A sizable banquet, a generous drink selection, many exotic desserts, and a few decorations. And this says 0% of the goods will be deducted from preparation demands. So I guess that's because we don't have... Oh, you need 15,000. Oh, I see. So if you can double the amount that was the overall requirements, you get like less. Okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe actually then we might be building to 20,000 if we want to hit, really hit the big numbers. All right, we'll just hit confirm, see what's required. To breathe in the ambience. Mm. Costumes. Well, we've got enough. We have 345. We need 100. Coffee, totally fine. Beer. We don't have any beer. And we've got plenty of cotton fabric. So we need to make a run of 150 beer. Now, I think we've actually got beer down on this island. Where do we need? We do. We've got loads. I haven't actually delivered beer to Manola yet. I'll just bring over a fat 300. Three hundo. Room to maneuver. Rotate this ship out. Oh yeah, I was delivering in um, aluminum, and I realized there's actually like On our way. a bunch here, and we've all the foundries here and everything. So I don't know if I can actually unload this. No, I can just a little bit because I actually cheekily just increased storage space briefly. I'll do it again though. Boom. 
Another load of storage space. Drop this stuff in here. That's the Hacienda storage, by the way. All right, at least we've just unloaded those ships for now. So, obviously kind of temporary, but, you know, each one gives us 50 storage. Doesn't it take up too much space? There's still lots of space on the coasts to add more storage, should I wish. In fact, we'll just pop that back in place as well. Good. Those are our repair cranes. How's Benty looking? All good. I can always just glance down at the radar. If we see a little bulge of purple moving towards her, we know what that is. That sounds weird. All right, so now that we've built the soccer stadium, let's see if we can beautify it a little bit. Maybe grab some of these arches. We'll do three. And then look for where the stairs are. So another three here. That makes sense. Something like that. Now, unfortunately, this Hacienda ornament doesn't have a blank tile, which I rambled on about in one of the previous episodes. Hmm. This will have to be four, wouldn't it? If you want to leave an even gap of three either side, I suppose it would need that. All right, we'll do that. That's no big deal. So because we've no blank tile, to create a cut through that comes into here and looks somewhat natural, let's go to beautification. Seasons, Seeds of Change, and there's our ornaments. Uh, yeah, we can have trees bookending each end of the archways, so that's cool. There are little palm trees and stuff. Maybe a flower bed in the middle. So people can walk through. Yeah, that's still fine. That's still basically an entrance, right? It's not blocking people getting in there. And then the other thing we could do here... Is it number two, I think. Yep. Rotate that bad boy around. Switch it. No, I'm good. Switch this to number two. Do it the absolute longest way possible to do that. Good job, Darren. And then with the gap here, maybe another uh, flower bed, flower pot thing. So these are just walls, but I mean, they're small enough that it looks kind of like, I guess you could hang up posters or signs and say, hey, welcome to the stadium. You know, today's game is between whatever, Manola United and Manola City <laughs> or something. There we go, looks all right. Yeah, it looks all right. I'm gonna be moving things around in the future, but this this outcropping area actually looks pretty good, I think. And it just joins on naturally on this side. If anything, it should be probably rotated around, I feel like. Where's the, because, yeah, let's rotate this around. Ba -ba -bum. So there we go, 1800, the Anno Stadium. And this is almost feels like the exit, rather than this feels a bit more... Am I crazy in thinking that they look different? Oh, maybe not. They might be the same. Actually, yeah, I think it's the same. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Looks good. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much how fill, filled up it is. 26 minutes remaining, but obviously that speeds up if we deliver things. And they're just loading up, I guess, with the various um, different stuff right now. It's not here yet, is it? There we go. Beer. Ah. They're gonna drink it though. Don't be drinking that. You cheeky devils. Your streets are safe again. You're not allowed to have beer. So we go only beer is gonna be served in here. It's like Qatar or something. So where is this coming from? Oh yeah, we're building attractiveness as well all the time. That's nice. So it's coming from the storage bay over there, although there's also another one coming from here. Looks like it's taking two in at the same time. Bit of a shame that... Oh yeah, it wants to go all the way around because there's no actual road on that side. I ain't connecting a road. It'll ruin my aesthetic. Alright, anyway, so... It said 10,000, so knowing that we need to hit 10,000, that's the goal I'll probably work towards. We'll work towards 10,000, supply it, you know, the other um, workforces, try to just keep them to keep everything, what's the word, self-sufficient. And as long as they can remain stable at that, that's the goal I'll work towards. Although maybe 20,000, maybe. It's a big difference, I guess, but if that's what it takes to get the big football game running at a cheaper cost, then maybe it'd be a good goal to go for. Anyway, we have our Hacienda here. What I was thinking of doing is adding in these extra Hacienda households out this way. Something like that. So I'll just get rid of these for a second, see what else I can fit in there. Now, they're not connected by a road, obviously, that's okay. 
but we have... Hmm. You can either double up the road, which would look weird, or just create little intersection things, which I'll probably do. Uh, so first off, get these so to look found my wings. a little bit better. That I still walk the streets. Cool, so it just slightly breaks it up a bit. Slightly. Not much, if I'll be honest. I guess we could just rotate them each time and hope for the best. Uh, so with that gap, yeah. <clears throat> Obviously the road needs to connect into these various entrances, just even a little bit. And then we'll decorate it with the wall ornament and anything else. Then I was thinking maybe at the back side. Let's have a look. If we go for the little pathway, it can look like their own little grass path that takes them to, I don't know, somewhere else. Maybe I should just push it in against it, actually. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like we have very much room. All right, let's try that then. So we'll have to push it in. That means that this house will... Yeah, actually, we can still connect that one up. We could connect that up here. That's fine. That worked. These two are going to be a bit stubborn. You can fit a regular one there, just to make it look a bit more interesting, maybe. And maybe I'll just get rid of these two. Yeah. Alright. Small one on the corner, or you could change it maybe later and have a the more the merrier. post box or something. Yeah, post box not going to fit there either. All right, well let's see how this is going to look then. So I'm going to get a garden esplanade thing, a little pathway that takes us all the way up here, cuts in there, I cuts am across so happy that way. Someone could help us. And then we'll get the hacienda thing, the wall maybe, and just wall it off. I don't know if that'll look weird or not, but that's what I'm going for. And then we'll put down as many trees as I can. So it's kind of like they have their own little grass garden path thing. I don't know if that's strange. And then what we could do is maybe make a little wall every now and then to say, like, here's how you get out. So a little gateway that just leads outside. Or you could get the one that actually leads outside. And if we change... Let's track this way. Change this to, what, number one? Just let it continue. And then it's like, yeah, it just leads out to the, the wilderness, as it were. Is that, is that weird? I don't know. I think I need it to grow on me for a bit. Kind of like the idea of them having a garden at the back, though, for sure. A little grass pathway. Yeah, seen worse. <laughs> uh, maybe this as well. So if we take a turn, and we turn into this little side thing. Now there's just a straight up gap between them. <laughs> hmm. I think it was better just on its own. That was fine. Yeah, alright. Uh, and then I'll just throw down a few trees. So if I, if I, you know, I might change my mind on it, but you guys let me know what you think as well. Always curious. difficult with the Hacienda ones because of the uh, base tile that they're on that like brown tile terracotta kind of tile or whatever uh, but they should all be good that's an extra big load of extra population though and now their potential goes up to 165 uh, and this reaches pretty far in there you know we could definitely have a couple more on this side so yeah I'm just gonna work on it I mean this is what I'd be doing in a time lapse anyway you might as well do it now just move some of these houses over for a bit and start working out how we can fit in more of these hacienda style residences. So the ones on the beach, not going to change them. Want them to look good, beach beach like. Whereas the ones a bit further back here, they could be a bit more grid like and be these hacienda style ones. And that still fits all the way in there, right? Yep, it's within the range of everything, so that's good. So let's just take these guys out. Move them back in a moment. It's becoming a grid, though, I, I must admit, but it, it kind of has to when it's these ones. Something like that. 
Yeah, it still looks good when you just look at it from the front. Nice. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll just randomly throw a few of these around a bit and just hope that they <laughs> become less uniform slightly. Yeah, that should create a little randomization. Alright, how are we doing? 18 minutes to go. Okay, uh, yeah, just while we're... While everyone's dying out here with no road access, we'll just give them road access briefly. And I'll sort them out in a moment. Keep them happy for a moment. Alright, whatever. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, that looks weird. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion, it looks weird. So maybe I'll just leave it the way it was, which is, it just basically connects to nothing at the back. Or maybe we could have the wall at least separating the two. Something like this, maybe. And then we'll just let the forest grow here. So do we want jungle trees or palm trees? I suppose palm trees, maybe. We can barely fit, though. I feel like you almost want to get rid of... Yeah, that's what I'll do first. Sorry to be so all over the place with this, but what I'll do is just get rid of this first, paint down the trees, as that way they have a lot more space to work with, and then go over it with just the wall. And that way, the wall will only get rid of the ones that are immediately in the way, but some of them might like just eclipse the edge just a little bit and be okay with that. All right, and we've got a little trail to walk around around the back. So I moved a boxing arena closer to here, so they're good. They even have the Samba School, even though the Samba School is pretty far in there, isn't it? Yeah, they're fine. They've got everything they need. They're living it. I mean, if I really wanted to get crazy, could I even, I could toss in these ones at the back. They wouldn't have any road access, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with going that far over, and then, like I said, the wall will delineate between this area and the kind of riverbank or whatever. Might make a little gate every now and then, just to look, make it look like they can walk out if they want, you know? And I say, make it look that way, you do see people using them, so they will do that. Oh, nice. People are flooding in now. It's busy. How much is left to go? Yeah, there's about 45 costumes left. Half the coffee. Everything's about halfway, as we can see. How are we looking down by Benty? All good? Good. All right, let's just keep reorganizing. How much more of those... So we could go with the Hacienda Obreros up here or something. I wouldn't be against that either. It doesn't have to be all artistas. And that way we can say, like, the more urban area of the town is on the right side. Maybe Old Town's left side, in a way. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm happy to do that. We've got a thousand extra obreros right now, so screw it. We'll just kill a few of them. All my hard work. This is why people are like, oh, you're rushing through the game. And I was like, oh, I was trying to get to the time lapses, but I ended up having to redo it anyway. I can't remember what the obreros require in here. That's four over. That's fine. I'm okay with that. They don't need a road you on the right side. An agreement. So there, it's good access to the church, good access to boxing arena. Everything else should be fine. Oh, the Hacienda itself is a bit too far. Oh, shit. Didn't actually think of checking that. Oh, interesting. The Obreras need access to the Hacienda, but the Artistas don't. Yeah, that's not going to work then, is it? Because I'm not dragging over loads of bridges. They look weird. All right, so it's not going to be... We're going to have the regular Obreros then. Or just even more Artistas. Can we actually just upgrade these guys while they're here? I guess you're not allowed to do that. All right. Yeah, we can still have another block of artistas. I'm okay with that. It's interesting distinction, though, the fact that they don't require that. Yeah, I'll have to re reorganize that area quite a bit. Anyway, let me just check my industry for a second as well. Oh, by the way, there's someone answered in the comments why I was confused about the cable factory. The cable factory got powered, which gave it twice as much productivity. And I was saying, like, it was really weird that 
things were just like balanced out the way they were. Because it should have been, the demand should have been twice as much for the cables if we increase the motors as well. But motors actually require power. So it, it always is on 200% by default, whereas the cables can be on 100, but can be on 200. And that's why I was confused uh, in the last one. So appreciate the tip on that I one. It was interesting to see. To the so something I've noticed, they actually say they're out of camphor. That's not true. They're out of ethanol. Ethanol has, has run out actually globally, and that's a bigger problem than you might think. Effectively, how I get ethanol is on the old island of Cape Trelawney, or Crown Farms, we have an item in here that produces ethanol as a byproduct. Get rich quick volume four, the wasteland. Ethanol produces a byproduct here and down here, I believe. No? Is it just here? But there's, so, yeah, it's just here. But there's so many different things here. Uh, and the problem like before the was that they were actually getting completely backed up, but I'm selling them in Docklands now. So hopefully ethanol production stays up and running. But it's a real mess. Like some of that stuff, my God, it's gonna take a while to refigure out how that all works. Um, but if we go ethanol, and we look, oh yeah, it is most, it seems to be mostly producing all the time, that's good. But if we go all islands, we can see that we're actually underserving. We can produce 40, or we are producing 40, but we need 44. So that's a problem. And a lot of it I get is a byproduct. So we might start doing more chemical plant stuff on Manola to get ethanol directly right there. So that's what I'm going to try and do a lot more of with this island generally. It could be a fun challenge, which is trying to make it a lot more self-sustaining. I mean, you can make almost everything here now. Almost everything. I don't think you can quite get absolutely everything, but almost everything. Uh, because you have steel production, iron mines, and things like that. So I think it'll be something I'll be working towards. How much time do we have now? We're about two-thirds, uh, three-quarters of the way there. Oh, speed of time. All right, well, let's just keep working on this while I'm waiting and keep an eye on Benti. There's not, not much else to do other than just figure out how we squeeze more and more out of the space and population for a while. Uh, so that's our Samba school. I'm quite happy with where that is, but we can connect it up this way and push it over, maybe. Do we need to push it over, or should we just create something else here? Uh, I'd say push it over. Okay. And just to break thing, make things a bit more visually interesting, we'll break that there. We'll move the post office down. So the post office I moved way over to the right. So we are getting a much, much better cov coverage now. Although ideally, you know, we're leaving off this little pocket down here. So maybe a post box down there. If I have a look really quickly at where the post is. We don't have one down here. I could basically just fit one right there. Yep, that's fine. And then there'd be... Yeah, I'm not going to fit one up at that top bit. That's covered in there. That's covered there. I'll probably just have another post office somewhere like right here, right? And that would cover the next part of the town. And try to leave a bit of a gap so that we can fit maybe a post box in between. So somewhere over there, probably. How many is it? It's 50 obreros. It's not that much. How far over does our thing extend. That's actually going to keep extending as well. Yeah, what might be nice is somewhere here now to have just a block of like one singular block, if that makes sense. Let's move these guys over as well. Temporarily, we'll move them back. And let's just bring this road straight across so it's level with the bridge now. Cut that away there. That's fine. Okay. So Hacienda Residences, again. It's ob or Obviously, these are going to put massive demand. Can that fit here? Can it fit anywhere? Yeah, but it'll say it's out of range, right? Okay, let's just try that anyway. So this, that little block fits quite nicely there. This is not so nice. Maybe these two can go. These can be replaced with a regular. Yeah. Looking good. Very grid-like, but pretty good otherwise. But after that, I think now it can be just kind of a bit more broken up. And are you guys okay? You're in range. You have everything you need. How are they growing now? Up to 23 already? So they're missing glasses. Oh, yeah. So that's what I was meant to focus on. So glasses is the only thing that they need that I don't have. That's 22 extra artistas per household. Quite a lot, considering these houses, anyway. Um, also, if we hit that 1,000 attractiveness, I can change this to get the 5 influence 
for every one of these houses we have. It's not every house total, it's just the Hacienda ver variants of it. So that'd be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, eight, nine. You're looking at about 30 pushing 40 houses? Uh, six, 12, yeah. Yeah, well, maybe about 30, just low 30s. Times five, so loads of influence. And plus, if this generates influence, then our influence should be fine. We can start using trade unions and town halls again. I haven't left any room for town halls, actually, thinking about it. Uh, so I might have to think about that in the future as well. I do have some extra space here, actually. Could be used in future, I guess. All right. Um, so these were obreros. Hmm. And these ones are obviously collapsing right now, but that's okay. Yeah, so, uh, what are you? Okay, You're cold or something, right? Let's just move you for a sec. And we'll start using the beach a bit more effectively on this side. So we want more houses to come out this way again. So I don't know, I want them to be pretty, pretty far down the coast here, if we can get them to be. They don't have to be always evenly staggered, but it kind of makes sense that they are. Okay, this is far down to make use of the entire beach, basically. That's where we'll go. And then we just have to lay out the houses at the back of all these places. They don't have to be super even. Can have, like, some little blocks. Some can be connected in like that and provide extra street access into the sides. So these could be covered here. Uh, this will need a gap, probably like that. Hey, there we go. Boom, 1350 attractiveness. The games are on. So how long does that last then? 10 minutes, not that long. 1350 attract. Yeah, let me see if this works then. Oh my God, 206 influence. Yes, there you go. The influence problems are solved. Although, if we lose attractiveness, does it just go back down? I mean, this game is running right now, so that might just be a temporary thing. Well, we'll leave it there and see what happens. Um, but either way, I wasn't really using the other thing anyway. All right, cool. Let's just keep laying these out, and then I'll put a road down in a moment. Hopefully, none of them fall to ruin by doing this. I feel so I want to do that. Yeah, I kind of need to keep that where it is. Might shift it over just one more. It never rains to everyone's liking. Okay. You can come down a bit further. That way we can make this road come in. Alright, road's coming in. Connects in there, all good. Those guys are happy. It leaves a gap here, just because it'll look a bit better. Connects in here, these guys are happy. Comes down. Connects in there. They're happy. Now they're happy, so it's just you who's unhappy. We could just move you over. And if we want to make things a bit more compact, maybe we could just bring this road over that way at least. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep it compact. Because I was thinking, you know, you could have trees or something else in the way, but I don't know. It's fine. Like, these little gaps are perfect for, like, little trees or other decorations and ornaments, but that's okay. All right, uh, just temporary as well. We'll just grab the beach and just slam it all along here just so we can see it. Okay, and I'll put the tables and chairs and stuff out a bit later. Um, so what is it? Times three. So one, two, three. All right, nice. Starting to look good. So they're going to need their own boxing arena and stuff. So our boxing arena is here. There's some paved uh, dirt road. Let's just get the paved road out. That's going to come down and get a little thin over here, it seems. So maybe I can push that out to the left. If I just got rid of one for a second, if I move that, we can see this one. That's the range there, but it starts to fall off around that area. So that's why I guess I had one there. Um, but a lot of the... So Yornaleros don't require them. And they're going to be at the back. So this could just come down a bit further, maybe. Connect in somewhere there. And it might give the range that we need. Uh, so again, we could lock that up like this. Maybe throw a couple houses down here. Uh, I suppose... Actually, got a better idea. Let's 
It's weird that you can even Those move roads. People are rioting. People are rioting? Oh my god, Crown Farms. Why? Are they working overtime? Oh my god, they are. I probably have that for a reason. We'll just stop that. Not that I'm sure it's a problem these days. Uh, they'll be fine, right? We'll just give them a regular police station. I did notice riots kicked off on my production island of Lusk as well recently, which I found peculiar just because... Well, that's never happened in a really long time, so it must be something to do with New Balance. I had to put a police station down here. Maybe it's to do with having advanced stations or not. I don't know. Because none of these guys are over time, right? Nope. Nope. Oh. They are, apparently. Hmm. Well, it wasn't them that rioted, but... Let's leave it the way it is. How's that soccer game going? Good. You guys are out of something. You're out of citrus, didn't we? Oh, it's just the, uh... The warehouse is so busy delivering to here. It just hasn't got its stuff yet. It should be able to deliver now, though. 845 on the island. There's a warehouse right here. What are you doing? Fancy a tour? We'll just stop you for a second and then if you resume. Don't need me, I'll be at the docks. I like you. Okay. Strange. It's working now though. Beach is looking good. Do need to add the umbrellas and different things out there and tidy it up, but I'll do that myself. Right, so with that there. Uh, let's have a look at the post office situation. What so we know that we're going to need another one up? roughly around here. So I'll just move these things down a bit. Out of the way, please. This and we'll just fix the guys that are unhappy. Just pop them in, even if it's temporary. Okay. It doesn't have to be this straight road. We can change that. But I should probably have the artistas here instead, actually, thinking about it. Sorry. Alright, let's grab these guys. Keep the artista block together. Leave that as one block. That doesn't really need to change. I like having the restaurants just across from the stadium. I think that's pretty cool. Like this one, this one, and that one. Although, arguably, I'd face this one the other direction. Draw the people in towards the tables. Makes more sense to me. How are we doing? I wonder who's winning. <laughs> oh, there we go. These terms, teams deserve their place at the top of the club ladder. That shot hit me right in the heart. Oh my god, it's Alex the Rambler. Our champions are back on the ground. Not a single dry eye. I'm glad the people are loving it. Uh, there was a fire, so where was that? Also out here. God damn. Alright, we've mobilized another one. Do I need an extra fire station then? Oh, you've run out of gas. Oh my god, so many problems. Oh yeah, they don't have any services up here at all. <laughs> There's a fire station for you, if that helps. Riots are breaking out in Crown Farms. God, there's going to be so much to do over the next few episodes of this game. Looking forward to it, though. And I ain't going away anytime soon. There's so much still to rework on this place. So, the goal was to get about 10,000 artistas. We're currently up to 8.5, so we're getting there. You know, some of these don't have their road access, so they're just growing and building over time. Not sure what the potential is with the amount I've built just yet. Um, might took that in here. Maybe we can give them something here or something. All right, those obreros, they're looking for a home. You can't fit there, dang. Uh, yeah, I might leave this here just so it's always close to the stadium. I'm okay with that. It's across from the warehouse, or the uh, restaurant as well. That's fine by me. Don't really typically like having them that far in towns, but it kind of has to be, has to be placed there, I think. So the uh, post office, right? What can I say? I'm the giving type. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seen a few more ships from Arthur now already, but they're not really approaching Benti, at least, on the radar. Okay, so. Do we have another fire station in the town? We don't, so I might put one around here as well. 
pretty central to the town. This is the upgraded station, so I'll just move this one in. Maybe give them a couple uh, unique ornaments. So we'll go beautification menu, cosmetics, industrial zone pack. There's a water tank that we can add in here. It's actually like basically enveloped in that thing, which is interesting. Uh, and I think then with Seasons Bright Harvest, there's also another water tower here. My Just leave them there. Says money matters dominate middle age. I didn't catch him buying the other one. All right. So a couple of water towers next to the fire station makes sense. All good. Let's just—I love the sponsors as well. Can't be much time left on the game. Maybe gone into overtime or something. Just gonna take a drink really quickly. Let's see if we can see one score to goal. Go on. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, back of the net. There you go. Red team winning. All right, it's only like 18 seconds left to go. All right, let's just like add a, long, uh, a line of these. Sorry. I've been drinking too much. <laughs> Around here. I haven't been drinking, just FYI. <laughs> just in case Thank anyone thinks I have. It would explain a lot, but it, uh, the reality is no. <laughs> What did he say? The alpacas against the Nandus. That's funny. All right, let's see. Grand Stadium. So, exhibitor donation. Self-made scarves and colorful flags. Cheers and toasts, curses and jokes. All bear witness to the glory of the games. So, to earning ourselves 90 influence. And our 200 is gone, so that's fallen away. Yeah, can't use that. Until we get 1,000 input. Although, the attractiveness is actually going up. We have 900. Oh, that's because we have a festival still on. Attractiveness, 100. Happiness, 20. Income per house is increased. Duration, 30 minutes. So let's just switch this back to what it was. I'll just... Island storage, whatever. It's fine. Um, well, maybe actually reduce food consumption, I suppose, would probably be a good idea. 30% reduced food consumption. These guys don't have a house uh, or a road. So is that permanent influence now? That's the thing I don't know. Like, is this there until I run the next game and, and try to get more? You know, if you know what I mean? Like, it's like 90. And then if I run a game where I get 100, it's 100. Or is it going to just stack? It says influence from football championship 90. So I guess I'd have to run another game before I can know. And I can't run another. Next season is in 30 minutes. Well, either way, I'm happy with that. I mean, 90 influence. I'll take it. That gives us room for town halls, and we can start using trade unions and really building this island to specialize in different things. If it's infinite influence, I don't know how I feel about that, you know? Because it's quite. I, I really like the influence mechanic in this game. It's a really good constraint where if you build bigger populations, you get more. So if you're efficient and optimal, you'll keep getting more. And that's why. <laughs> I'm not very, I don't have very much because I don't build very efficiently. Sometimes I do. Some places it's like, yeah, you've done all right. But other places it's like, well, no, you know, you just kind of, and I've got so many, I could have way more investors if I wanted to. I just don't really aesthetically have the space for them. Yeah, we need that ethanol production to get better. But I, what I'm trying to do is get to roughly around 10,000 or at least the capacity to have 10,000. One last thing. I guess what we could do is get glasses, bring in the glasses. So if I look at glasses production. Oh, they're called spectacles, aren't they? Yeah. So globally, we produce just under what we need, which is actually probably why it's running out. I need to just quickly check over the docklands and see, do we call, do we bring it in anywhere? Because I don't think so. So Lusk actually has a vacant the spot left ruins behind. that I could maybe temporarily just bring some in there. I'm actually trading away glasses here, which is weird. The check copy? That can't be sustainable. Yeah, go on then. A fire broke out. So brave, and so many lives saved. 
Alright, well it seems like then, in that case, at Lusk, I'll see if I can import some. How's that trade been going? They were calling, taking in windows. Yeah, they seem to be doing it fine, or just regular glass. Alright, uh, let's see, spec tickles. It's kind of temporary, I feel like I'll solve this later, but who knows when. Yeah, I don't know, 500? Whatever. <laughs> it's not like we need the elevators. Elevators are like used for, oh, they're used for the, um, high rises, yeah. So, what we need now is a ship that's gonna take, well, what we could do now is finally make a bunch more ships as well. You're out of power, what are you talking about? Are you really low on oil here, maybe? Oh my god. Yeah, we need oil ships then, probably, as well. Because I feel like with the extra islands taking oil, things have slowed down where the ships aren't doing it enough. So, a regular cargo ship, please. Maybe another one, and then... Uh, oil tanker? A couple oil tankers? They're 10 influence. Those streets wow. are safe again. Alright, but we have ships already, so what I'm going to do is go to New World to Old World. And then, I feel like I had a ship here that was doing this. Old World to Manola, that's it. And that's taking ethanol. Now, there's actually loads of ethanol on this island. So, we could just put a second ship on this anyway. Because they're going to need that stuff. They're probably not going to need the steel. We'll make that locally. So, I'll... I'm just going to make a note of it, that in the next one, I'm going to have to redo that. Alright, I've made a note. So leave it as is, just to keep things moving for now. But then create a new route. From Lusk to New World to Manola. And just pick up some glasses. Spectacles. Then what I'm going to do after this episode, is I'm going to look at everything that we cannot produce on Manola. And they'll be the ones that I set up new routes for. And everything we can produce, I'll try my best to make it locally. Alright, so, new world to old world, all good. Uh, specs. Alright. I guess it's Manola Imports. Alright. Did I not, I didn't give it a, uh, ship. Alright. Wow, quite a few houses destroyed here, actually. Is that better? Man, this place looks great. <laughs> and now I've got the influence to actually build these town halls and stuff. Yep, looking good. Alright. This town's looking great. I think it's really coming along nicely. This left side has been done pretty quickly, but I think it looks good. I just want to move all the artistas down closer to the beach, closer to the boxing arena and whatever else they want to be close to. I like having them a little offset. Keeps things visually interesting. We could become a landmark. So, are you an artista? Much obliged. That's an obrera. So I might do a little finagling in my own time to just balance this out a bit better, but uh, I feel like that's probably more than enough artista households. So it, I don't know if it shows me like what is the potential pop- yeah it does. There we go, 15,400 if we filled up everybody. So that's more than we need. Possibly. We might need 20,000, but I can't actually check until 23 minutes, and then we could see. Yeah, because if it's 20,000, yeah, I think I could probably do 20,000. It'd be a good target to work towards. Oh, I see. This is blocking. A cherry atop our beautiful crikey. How are you doing, Benty? What's going on out here? Not seeing too much. Not too much activity. Looking all right. Okay. Um, we need raw materials. Yeah. I got, I'm just going to keep working on the population this entire episode, I think, guys, while we're here. Uh, and get a few more of these houses in at the back. Let's just brighten it up again. 
so all of this area is basically done. This can be squished a little bit for me. Um, and maybe organize this so that we can... Yeah. It's going to be a bit weird, but I'm going to just downgrade these houses rather than having to move and replace them. These are all Yornaleros. And then these can be all Obreros. So what I've done there is just I'm basically the further out you go, you get more villagey. Whereas you get still a bit more built up when you're here. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we could just check on the population and see what, what are people struggling with. So, the only, well, we just made a bunch, so I feel like I'll have to speed up time to see what they're lacking. But glasses are coming in now. Perfume's getting a little low. The happiness categories, I'm not even doing beer or cigars. I know about cigars, we're going to do that on another island. Um... Lifestyle needs. Mail has been fixed. I did that in between episodes. I wanted to kill myself, but it's done. Although it's probably going to change now that the amounts of artistas we have is so much greater. Uh, now with the increased amount of orchards we can have, we can definitely get souvenir production up and running a bit better in the old world. Yeah, we're going to get all of these. <laughs> it's going to be good. There's a lot of space, you know. We've got so much space. And we can make much greater use of the orchards if I can generate inf infinite influence at this point in the game. And if that's the case, we can just throw in all of these different goods. And I'll probably check the wiki to see what new items arrived um, alongside this DLC. See what can really help us out. What's your problem? Oh, the post box is empty. Oh, yeah. We need more workers. Oh, my God. I totally forgot the post office. Like, it's twice over. It needs to go, like, there. Pretty much. So let me just get rid of the post boxes briefly. Create a new post office, the big one. And I'll just see. To take time? If I shifted it in all that way, you do get a lot of people. But I think more down around here, where that warehouse is, would probably be a bit better. And then a post box could probably fit somewhere in the middle. So I'll just stick it there for a second. Just need to leave, leave enough room that there's a post, a post box can fit somewhere here. Ah, not really. It's close, but just not quite. Just realized there's room here for a whole house. A lovely flower bed is torn to pieces. Alright, post because I just think it's a waste. If you have two circles budging up against each other, they kind of like they have a pretty big wasted space in the middle. Now you you're okay, right? We can put one like around here. That's totally done. That's fine. And we can leave a few of the one layers, that's whatever. But here, yeah, this should just push out a little further, I think. Maybe just a bit further down. So this could fit if we'd left, yeah, like right about there, maybe. Okay, so that's what that covers. There's a couple houses there that are just slightly left out. suppose what we could do is this. I feel like on reloading the game, these sandcastles appeared. Because I'm pretty sure I got rid of all those. <laughs> There's so many. Anyway. All right, cool. So that kind of fits us in there. We need to get a road just connecting to that house. So something like that. Maybe a palm tree or something can fit in between. But that gives us pretty good... So every house is covered then. Yeah, even the one on the right. Oh, this one isn't. Oh, well. Um, well, you know, we could always fix that as well. Get rid of one of my lovely cut-throughs. this would have to come over and then it's covered not that it matters like that much I'm being a bit pedantic with it what happens if I do this that's really bad okay this 
might look kind of cool, actually. Ship constructed. Hmm, maybe not actually. Yeah, something hey, like that. that got it stolen by I'll go over and fix those kind of things, but we're moving away from the corner there to... Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll play around with it, but that's kind of the idea. I'd like to get, you know, not have... If there's an obvious way not to waste... I'm not the most efficient person, right? Let's be honest. But if there's a house that's just, like, slightly out like that, it's like, ah, oh, for the sake of one grid space, like, can I just, like, tidy this up? So what I'll probably do is just shift things to create another gap somewhere here, and that way it'll, it'll be okay. But that's roughly where it's going to go, and then we'll have a post, post office that can come over now. And that's pretty much as far as it can get, right there. Or we can shift it like this. And that would get the one on the very bottom of the coast. But that one might just have to be a sacrificed one. So right about there, that kind of works. Can't go over any closer. It'll have to be something like that. Okay, anyways. You'd only weigh me to the bottom. Let's just upgrade these two. So we're almost even for Obreros, and then it looks like the population is kind of coming down a bit, is it? 9,400 for Artistas out of a 15,000 potential. And that is, obviously I'm waiting for the glasses to arrive. They should be arriving soon, I would hope. It's got to be in, in transit right now. There they are, the argument. Sweet. All right. So with those spectacles coming in, that'll give us the big boost to population. Not that we like desperately need it. Although we might actually get hit the next milestone soon, seven thousand. Yeah. If we, I mean, we will if I hit the um, what we're trying to aim for, right? So it is actually something that is going to happen. Just trying to think as well. Let's see. Yeah. I guess I'll do. I'll finish off the rest of the town then myself. So what's here? Obrera and Yonalero. Just get rid of those guys. You can go over here. Because then, see, I'm kind of waiting for the population to get done first, and then I can really figure out, like, what all the demands are going to be for various different goods and things. Uh, can we go maybe fight one more time? He's got a couple of... I often like to Ooh, games. he's got some armed airships. Now that's... I don't know what I can do. Does she have flak? The trustees are only too happy to help with town planning. I don't know how it's going to work, like how air combat's going to work, but that'd suck if it takes it out because she doesn't have any, like, air defense. Um, can I have a pirate airship? I have no idea. Let's see. So let's just go pirate mode. Military ships, military ships, military ships. I have a feeling it won't work on um, <laughs> on an airship, but maybe. Airships. These are all the airships things. Hit points, movement speed, airship cargo loader, sports gondola, equipped in an airship, movement speed's increased. Some of these ones we've seen before. Damage per shot, that's new. At least for me. Yeah, obviously new to the season, at least. Willa Cochran, ace pilot. Equipped in air air airships. Damage per shot, 20. Accuracy's increased and attack speed's increased. And then we've got elite airship gunner. 10 range and 10 accuracy. We can make an airship. A military airship. I fi Actually, I remember checking beforehand. Airships are zero influence for me to get. Now, military ones, because I don't have any. Yeah, so the Calibri, armed. And then there's the, if we go like this, armed airships, just two. The Calibri and the Alicanto. So we've got everything we need for it. Let's just build one. And it's still zero for another one. Cannon turret equipped. Not that I can do anything, but I might just go straight into war if Benty's on the line. And I'm getting influence now. It could be kind of interesting to see how, that whole, how it's all going to shake out. Uh, but yeah, it's clear to me that we obviously need more Obreros. But I kind of want to leave that amount of Yornaleros there at the back, so we'll leave them the way they are. I'll just temporarily put this road in, and we'll upgrade those guys, and then get another batch, and we'll upgrade those. 
They're next to a market, so they don't care. How are we looking on this? 12 minutes before we run the next one. So I guess like every episode now pretty much are going to be running one of these games. And I'll be really interested to see if we keep the influence. If we do, then I'll actually start putting down town halls and stuff um, to boost our populations further. Island is under siege. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. What just happened? Did he, do a, did he do a bombing run or something? Wow. Look at all the bits of debris. The repair cranes are working away. It must have been. Oh my god, they're coming in now. Oh my god. I think he came in and did a bombing run, and then he's bringing in the fleet. How epic is that? I'll tell you what, if we look over here for a second. We could actually buy more pirate ships, and now we've got... Now we can... <laughs> now's the time to fight Arthur, I think, almost. <laughs> if we have influence coming in. Fleet ready. I was hoping to trigger the pirate music. Sometimes you can do that. She's holding firm. I just need to make sure I don't damage the island. What's he got here? Two fr frigates as well, I think. Alright, we're activating. Don't hit Benty. Leave Benty alone. Yeah, I'm like attacking her island. I really don't want to. <laughs> so just this ship left and then we get out of here. Okay, guys? Oh, there's two actually. Stop shooting her. Stop it. <laughs> All right, fire the cannons again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ship under attack. We're going against the wind. I'm not looking to take your island, Benty. Just hold on. Just keep holding firm. You're fine. Ship under attack. All right, we made it. I think she survived. I know this thing's in the water. Whatever, it's fine. Attention, Ain't going everyone. back. Not while we're pirates. So... <laughs> What could I do? I guess we'll just station here and anything that passes by will just like obliterate, I'm hoping. I'm not gonna go all the way back to heal. But at least Benty is still alive. She's fine. Should be totally fine. Alright, great. We're just gonna have to keep doing that. Easy enough. And at least we get the warning that like a competitor's island is under siege, so it's good to know. Alright, we're lacking 482 obreros. That's because we're building an airship, but we're gonna be probably building a few, so that's gonna be just a necessary thing. The other guys that can be upgraded are all in the distance, so we'll just leave them. What I'll probably do is just turn off a couple of these buildings. Go uh, back just, for, to your families. just for a little while. Save on the workforce, and that'll have to be it. So next episode, I'll see if I get this influence reoccurring. And if that's the case, then I'm happy to start really investing in town halls and stuff. I suppose in between episodes, I'll probably look at where things can go, just to do, uh, to do just that. And then also... Probably put in a few of those like little extra ornaments and things like I said, the walls. But the, um, yeah, some of these places are now kind of done. Although we can, yeah, I can go over it with some, some beautification tools to make it look a little bit nicer and move things over a little bit. There's definitely space we can save and also space that we can use to make things look a bit nicer. But I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty good progress uh, overall. And it was fun just reorganizing the town. Pretty chill and building up the stadium and seeing how that's all good. But, um... We actually have pretty much everything. Yeah, they're just low on ethanol, so perfume runs out every now and then. But once we get a few more people in, I'll just check exactly how much we need to uh, supply everybody and then go over the beaches and things like that. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing. And it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.